Hey guys, Michelle from Mood, the Candle Revival Company here with my dad, Jerry. Say hi. Hi. And we are going to show you how to use our Mood, the Candle Revival Company um, candle making kit so you can hand pour your own candles at home in literally minutes. So here we go. Okay, dad, what are we doing today? Okay, well, we're gonna start by uh, putting medium-sized wicks in all of our candle holders. Just a matter of uh, peeling off the back of the sticky bottoms on the wicks and dropping them down into the jars. Center as much as you can. Perfect, just like that. That's one. And how many wicks are in a box, Dad? Uh, it says four six inch wicks. Okay. So you get four hemp wicks per box. Okay, there we have it. Six jars, just like that. Okay, there they are. You can kind of see how they're all wicked. The sticker came off, the wicks went in. And now we are going to take our mood wax, which is 100% natural candle wax. And we are going to cut open and vent it and we're gonna microwave the bag for three minutes. So it's all natural soy candle wax inside. Okay, here we go. Trim the corner. Okay, Dad, we just pulled it out of the microwave. Okay, so now we are uh, going to trim, cut the top off the bag here so that we're ready to pour it in a minute. And we're, you can see the wax has liquefied. So what we are going to do now is give it a little bit of time, a uh, few, few minutes to uh, cool just down. Uh, cool down a little bit. And in the meantime, we're going to trim our wicks a little bit. They just don't need to be quite that long. Leave them above the jars for now a little bit. You can always trim them a little bit later as well. There you go. Wicks are trimmed. And now we're going to uh, put some scent into the wax. This time we're using uh, whipped vanilla and coconut cream. It's called Serene. It's the new Mood Pearl flavor launch. It's going to be available January 15th online at www.moodrevival.com. Um, a lot of our viewers asked for a vanilla scented candle and we came up with Serene. So if you know anybody that is obsessed with vanilla candles, this is the one to get. Okay, so open the jar. And... We're going to Maybe pour it knife, right into the hot wax. You want to get them all. Probably could use something better than my butter knife here, but... <laughs> There you go. And don't forget, you can reuse your Mood Pearl tins and they make awesome candles. So you would just wick them with one large extra, sorry, one extra large wick in the center of that tin and fill it with your wax as well. And they make awesome gifts for family and friends or even travel candles when you go on holidays. So we're just giving this a little stir here so we can uh, dissolve all the pearls in there. Usually it takes about, you know, a good minute for them to all mix in and infuse. Don't rush the process. Um, the key to it is you're also infusing that wax with the scent. So you really want to make sure it's um, stirred nicely and um, really melted in. Um, just enjoy. It's kind of therapeutic, isn't it, Dad? Mm-hmm. Perfect. Smells great. Okay. Looks pretty good in there. I don't see any more beads, so they've all melted into the wax. 
still very liquid, still hot, I'm sure. And uh, the bag is not hot. There you go, it's ready to go. So now we're going to pour the liquefied wax into our candle holders. Hold the bag by the edges like this. Yeah, just like that. And just pour it in. I'm going to not fill the jars yet. I don't think I'm going to have enough. Try those little ones. Do these little ones. So there's 16 ounces in a bag of mood wax. So you can do quite a few candles out of that batch. I like to do small ones because they, you know, you, you it, it's recommended to burn a candle for about four hours. So, or at least until the wax hits the edges of the vessel. So if you do a large vessel, it takes a good four hours. And if you're only wanting to burn it for an hour or two before bed or during the day, um, the smaller the vessel, the better, because it only takes, you know, half an hour to an hour to melt that wax, that top layer of wax. And as you can see, I'm just centering the wicks a little bit here. The wax is already solidified a tiny little bit, enough to hold the wicks in place. You don't even need to really prop it up with anything. Yeah, don't need to prop it up. Just center them a little bit. Just to make your candle look more like a candle and burn properly. And that's it. How did you that's find it. the process, Dad? Simple as can be. It was his first time ever. So he's joined the um, uh, mood, mood uh, team, I guess, here. And he's an official candle hobbyist. And he can go back home and enjoy his candles and be proud that he made them himself. Mm -hmm. Simple as can be. Just waiting to enjoy them now. Yeah, so it's 24 hours. Um, they'll, they'll harden within 20 minutes, but it's recommended to wait 24 hours to burn the candles. Um, and um, yeah, you just wanna trim your wicks to a quarter of an inch before each burn and um, your candles will last a long time. Okay, Dad, so we let the candles rest for their 24-hour period, and look how beautiful they look. They turned out amazing, and they smell delicious. So what are you going to do now, Dad? What were you working on here? Okay, so we've trimmed a couple of the wicks already and lit those ones, but I'm going to trim the last two here. Just a matter of trimming them down to about uh, half an inch or a quarter inch, and they are ready to light. website you can go to to get your candle revival kits for candles in less than eight minutes and there it is there you have it perfect candles with our mood revival candle making kits they're a hundred percent natural soy candle absolutely no paraffin in them and they look stunning how did you find the overall process dad oh there was nothing to it simple as could be would you recommend it to your fellow friends and family members absolutely if i can do it anyone can do it <laughs> awesome well thanks for sharing um your experience with us dad and um we hope everyone liked the video and uh check out the website www.moodrevival.com. We hope you're having a Merry Christmas and um, a Happy New Year.